Hello, my name is Francesca Curry. I'm a portrait painter based in Cheltenham uh, and I'm a member of the RBSA who've asked me to do a little video about how to commission a portrait, the process and various questions people have with regards to it. The first question is how to build a successful artist-client relationship. So this one is done uh, person to person, I would say. Um, generally, I try and build up rapport I'll try and meet uh, the person face to face over a coffee and have a chat about what it is they want and what they want the end result to be. And then I'll take notes after the session so that I know everything that was said. Um, it's really important to keep communication open. If the client isn't happy, I want them to be able to say. Um, if the client is happy, that's obviously ideal. The next question is the main details to work out with the client beforehand. Um, this one, the biggest one is size and cost. Uh, so I will generally ask for a 10% 10, 10 non-refundable deposit up front um, and I have a, a range of sizes available. I also have a portfolio which is quite handy now because people can go through it and they can say if they want it in a certain style, if they've got a composition in mind, if there's a background colour that they would rather use, um, things like that. Uh, generally people have quite a clear idea of what they want um, and I'll, I'm happy to, to do that. The third question is how long does it take? This one varies, roughly speaking it's three to six months. So I'll order the canvas from London, that'll take a few weeks and then I'll invite the person to come, come and sit uh, in the studio then I'll do the painting and because I use oil paint it takes a long time to dry and then even longer time to then be able to be varnished so because of that that's why I say the three to six. Also if it's a slightly composite, complicated composition um, it might take longer so I had the saw burr of Worcester we, I had him come sit in the studio so I could get to know him but I also did a in situ picture which is where I went to the Guildhall and uh, we set it up for the day. Something like that, you really want to get it right because it's an official portrait, so the, the time isn't as important as long as the, the picture is done. Uh, that being said, that was still completed within six months. Photography, how to photograph for a portrait. So, obviously you're not wanting to create a lovely photograph, you're wanting to create something you can work from later, and there is a slight difference in that because I think especially with photography now, it's, it can be quite airbrushed. You don't want any of that. You want as much detail as possible. Um, so generally I'll set up lighting from one side with a daylight bulb or natural light, and I'll try and have uh, no other light sources. So it, ideally it's from about here, and then you get certain shadows uh, that look really nice on this side of the face. If you've got light coming directly on, I think it, it takes some of the romance away. Um, that being said, it can still look great. The final question is painting or photograph. Um, to me, they're not comparable arts. They're two different art forms. Uh, I think photography can be really beautiful, and I know many a really, really good photographer, So, and that has its value. For me, painting is about the time spent with the person getting to know them, working out which bits of their character to bring out and trying to make the painting completely them and spending a long time not just capturing one moment but capturing a length of time in a story. Um, I think that painting as well, can it can be very special to give somebody a portrait or to have a portrait done because they, the ones that I I create because of the way that they're done with the oil paint, they, they last for forever basically. Um, so they shouldn't deteriorate over time and they can get handed down and it's something really special that people can keep. And I think in a day, as, a day and age as well where photography is so available, having something really special like that is a, is a unique gift. So that's all the questions answered. If you have any more, please feel free to email me. My email address is Francesca Curry Artist, F-R-A-N-C-E-S-C-A-C-U-R-R-I-E, artist at gmail.com. I also have a website, Instagram and Twitter, all by that handle. So thank you very much.